Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, if you like my videos, please smash that like button, please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 11.51am. Right guys, so I've been in my flat and I have just had a nice cup of tropical fruit juice. So I'm keeping... Um, a note on what I'm eating because I'm trying to lose a bit of weight so there's not so much pressure on my stomach because I get a raging heartburn so I'm gonna try and stop this heartburn that I've been getting so I didn't go to the cart this morning because it's so tempting to buy cakes biscuits sweets so I've got money um, of my own and I could have gone to the co-op but I did not want to, to, to get stodgy food. If I, I need to get better and get through the menopause the best way I can and I need to lose weight, I know I, I do. I wouldn't call myself excessively fat but I'm could do with like getting maybe a stone off and then I should benefit from that and feel feel better in myself and I'm not doing it for any other reasons but for my health to just try and lose a bit of weight slowly not just stop eating or anything like that but just slowly um, not eat as much as I've been eating because I comfort eat. I eat for comfort. If someone upsets me, I stuff my face. That's the truth. I don't take drugs. I don't drink. I don't smoke. So I run to the fridge and I just eat. And I'm not getting any enjoyment out of it because you feel guilty afterwards, right? And you can feel the piles, uh, the food piling on, the calories piling on. I can feel it in my legs, my backside, my hips. So with a bit of like exercise, coupled with cutting down on the intake of food that I'm eating, I should lose weight without getting pieces of flabby bits hanging down. Um, <clears throat> so, after the cleaners left the building, there was a really nice coloured car parked opposite the flat. It was like a gold colour, pretty gold colour. And I think it was a black woman's car. And the black male car park ticket inspector was talking to this black woman with this really pretty coloured car. So I walked out of the building and I put my rubbish into the communal bin and it was chock-a-block full of crap because the bin men hadn't emptied the bins properly last week. They hadn't. They'd left two bins half full so there was rubbish poking out of the bins. Um, the mirror was still there and the potted plants and some of the, that. Well, you had to put bin bags on the floor because there was no room to put rubbish into the bin. So I don't know why the bin men last week did not empty the bins properly. So the bin men have since come down the road and emptied the bins. So hopefully they've emptied them properly this time. So I threw my rubbish out and went outside. My neighbour was still in upstairs because I could hear his feet on the ceiling. So I went out, out the front, and I walked across, and I walked down, and people were everywhere, and I've been walking, I think maybe the weather's got a bit warmer, and there's more people about. There was a blonde lady, with short blonde hair, um, she had a mini skirt on, over leggings. And she was walking a brown dog and she bumped into a couple, a male and female, pushing a baby in a pram. And they struck up a conversation with each other. 
And then there was five women walking down the path like a breast, uh, walking past me. I was walking in the road because there really wasn't any room on the path to walk. And I was concentrating on keeping safe and not getting run down because DPD lorries drive down that way and I didn't want to get run over. So when they'd gone past, I walked onto the path and I thought, I don't want to go that way. I want to go around where the blue crane is. I, I don't want to go that way. So I just took it easy and I walked Max behind the couple with the brown dog. And I just, they walked off because I walked slow with Max. I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere. So I was just like, minding my own business, walking Max. Um, and a black guy with a white dog uh, walks that way around me. Um, I did say that yesterday that um, I, there was a bloke that came into the bin store yesterday and a bloke talked to me as I was coming into the building. So usually when I say things like that, the next day everybody dodges out my way and nobody speaks to me at all. So that is what's happened this morning. I don't mind, I like being on my own, I don't want to get involved with other people's lives, I mean I don't mind helping people out if they need help, but what I'm saying is I'm quite happy living by myself, I'm not being forced to do things I don't want to do, uh, a guy has asked me to call him and I'm, I, I don't want to get involved, I don't want chats over the phone, I mean you never meet the person concerned they just want to talk over the phone this has been going on for years I don't want to waste hours on the phone I don't I don't want to have conversations on the phone I want to meet someone in the physical flesh and have a proper relationship and if I can't have one I won't have a relationship at all and I'll get on living by myself so when people when it looks like you know, you know, people are talking to each other, they're hugging and kissing in front of you, they're, you, you know, good. But all's not what it seems. A couple can be walking down the road and have a massive argument indoors, so that I, I don't get involved with other people. So I just walked on. Just because someone else is talking to someone, it just doesn't mean that I'm going to go up to someone and start talking. I don't talk to strangers. So first of all, that Charlie was a stranger to me. I let that stranger into my life and he, he stepped over my boundary. He touched me and he shouldn't have. So I'm very wary when someone comes up to me now what their intentions are. And when Charlie touched me, I wasn't wearing a miniskirt. I wasn't wearing a miniskirt. I wasn't wearing tights. I wasn't wearing high-heeled shoes. I was wearing a pair of jeans. It's nothing to do with what somebody's wearing. As in the past, I've had policemen say to me, what did I do to encourage it? Nothing. I'm just nice, polite and too trusting. That's what's wrong with me. But now I have to put my guard up. I put my guard up. Because I don't know what people's true intentions are. Who these people are. So I just carried on walking past the crane. You had builders um, with a McGoffin. It's got OG, McGoffin or something, McGoggin. Some McGoggin. Sounds Scottish. It's got OG in it, look. McGoggin. A vehicle with McGoggin on it. Walk past that and then. The, ma the old man that looks like he's walking the dogs that my dad used to have called Shep, the black and white dog, he 
he's walking around there. And then I walk past a car that's got my father's initials. D.T. Derek Trower. So I'm not an old man. I'm not an old woman. I'm not an old man. I'm a human being. I have feelings. So I've got to have no human contact. This has been happening since I was a girl, by the way. I wasn't allowed to have boyfriends. I wasn't. So I, I, this is this is this is why I am like I am. I wasn't allowed to have boyfriends as a child. Um, and it's this is how I am in adulthood. I can't have a partner. I can have men with wandering hands, but I can't have a partner. I don't want that all over me. Because some nasty individual has spreaded rumours about me. Whether it's someone I've turned down, whether it's someone I've annoyed and upset. And um, I'm certainly not that person at all, what they're saying I, I am and this and that. So I've got to be by myself. Because I can have men feeling me up, but I can't have a relationship. Um, now... I'm in my flat, I've had some tropical fruit juice and I'm trying to take my mind off food and I'm getting on with some cleaning. I would like my bedroom to look nice, like a woman's bedroom. Um, you know, I want a nice bit of carpet in there, I want I like pink on the walls or purple and I want a nice bed to sleep on. I'm tired of living the way I'm living because people are making me feel horrible about myself and I've got nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing wrong with me and I don't know where it's coming from. I'd like to meet the person that's been spreading awful rumours about me. And I'm not hungry, I'm choosing to, to, to stop eating loads of crappy food. I've also got to go to the dentist next week and put up with their behaviour towards me. I'm treated like shit. Um, I went into Kent Home Choice and um, they know that it's quite important that I move out of this flat and they've put me 62 on the list of people for homes 62 um, I, I looked I went into Kent Home Choice looking to bid on properties and one of the pro properties that I bid on I was 62 62 <laughs> Which, okay, I'm living in a nice flat. Obviously, I'm being harassed by an individual that seems to have it in for me. And I should just keep putting up with him until I can find somewhere else to move to. But not while I'm 62 on the list. I'm 55 years old. I qualify for an older person's property. I have disabilities and I'm being harassed my neighbours and I just have to wait my turn and I'm not I'm not angry with that that's that's the way it is I've got a roof over my head I'm not complaining I'm just saying to people that I'm 62 on the list so at the moment I'm never going to get out of here not unless I win on the lottery or get rich quick which is highly inevitable that that's not going to happen but I'm not treated any different from anybody else. I'm put right to the bottom of the list. I get the turd off everybody's shoe. So I'm not treated any different to anybody else. They see my name. They put me right to the bottom.
The only thing I can do to get out of here quicker is get the local MP involved or go back to the doctors again and ask for another letter which is going to cost me £40 for them to write. So the doctors did their best guys, they wrote a letter, it cost me £40, but that wasn't good enough to put me up on the housing register. So I'm right at the bottom. And I said I'm not complaining because there's people homeless and I've got a roof over my head. So I'm afraid the neighbours are stuck with me. See you later. <laughs>